Hello students, welcome back to another lecture on Historia. In this video, we're going to discuss about early urban centers and also the end of Indus Valley Civilization. This will be the concluding part of Chapter 1, that is the story of the first city's Harappan archaeology. So for urban centers, we have discussed about the features in my other videos, such as the town plannings, domestic architectures, the trade, seals, weights and measures and all those. And if you have not watched it, I recommend you to go and watch those videos. And if you have, you can still go back and watch those videos and do your revisions. So for the urban centers that we're going to discuss in this video is with regard to the type of urban centers. So let's begin with urbanization. What is urbanization? Urbanization is nothing but the formation and growth of cities. And urbanization was achieved by the Harappan civilization in which millennium? In the 3rd millennium BC. And the urban centers of the Harappan civilization are being divided into three types, such as the nuclear cities, the coastal towns, and the other cities and township. Nuclear cities. Nuclear cities are those cities which are situated within the land. That means they are being surrounded by land on all sides. Some examples of nuclear cities are Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, Talavira, and Kalibangand. And next we have coastal towns. Coastal towns are those towns which are situated near the water. This can be, for example, this can be like the sea or the river and all those. So example of coastal towns are Lothal, Sutka, Jandor, Balakot, and Aladino. These coastal towns are important for any civilization. Why? It's because in these coastal towns, usually trade are carried out. Usually people from far places will come and trade the goods, buy the goods and go back. Because uh, land routes are difficult. So it is through the sea routes. It is through the sea routes or the river routes that people from far places usually come and do their trade and all those. Next, we have the other cities and townships. So these other cities are township, are nothing but those towns or cities that existed during the time of the Indus Valley Civilization. So some examples of other cities and townships are Surkutada, Banavali, Chanhodaro, and Koddiji. So the next is with regard to settlements. So there are about 1,400 settlements found in the Harappan Civilization. And these settlements are divided into four categories. The first is the large cities, the second is the small cities, and third is the large village, and fourth is the small village. So these settlements are divided based on the size of the area. For example, the large cities, the size is usually from 50 to 250 hectare in size, whereas for the small cities and the large village, it is 10 to 50 hectare, and for the small village, it is 10 hectare in area. So based on this, the settlements are divided and I've given some example of the large cities that are found in Harappan civilization. They are the Mohenjo-Daro, Harappa, Ganwariwala, Rakhigarhi, Kalibangan, Dulavira, and Lothal. So these are the large cities that are found in the Harappan civilization. So the last topic of chapter 1 is the end of their civilization. There are different views which has been put forward by different scholars or by different historians arguing that Harappan civilization in so many different ways. For example, Dr. B.J. Gokhale, he was of the opinion that it was man and nature together that has destroyed the Harappan civilization. While on the other hand, Sergeant Marshall was of the view that Harappan civilization ended a thousand years before the coming of the Aryans. So the Aryans came to India around 1500 BC and with the coming of the Aryans, the Rig Vedic period started in India. So John Marshall was of the view that before the coming of the Aryans, the Harappan civilization ended. And not only the views of these two scholars, but there are also a number of scholars that have put forward different views about how the Harappan civilization ended. For example, some say that it is because of floods, famines, earthquakes, changes in the course of river Indus, evidence of invasion by Aryans, and also the end of Harappan state. So we will discuss them one by one. First, we're going to discuss about floods. So, excavation done at Mohenjo-Daro and Chanhudaro reveals that these two cities were flooded more than once. Our rigs, 
the hydrologist, he put forth a theory wherein he stated that a tectonic activity occurred in the Harappan region. So this tectonic activity is nothing but the movement of the earth lithosphere. So due to this tectonic activity, the floodplains of the Indus River were raised, which led to the submergence of the city such as Mohanjo-daro and Chanhudaro, thus resulting in the burying of these two cities. So the next uh, cause is famines. Some scholars believe that the rainfall which was received by the Harappan people began to decline in the second millennium BC or 2000 BC. So because of this uh, decrease in terms of rainfall, what happened is that the region became more dry. So when the region became drier and drier, it led to the drying up of the river. That is the Gagar Hakra. And uh, this drying up the, of the river Gagar Hakra was disastrous because uh, water is the source of livelihood for the agriculture, even for the animals and even for the people. So when these rivers dry up and when there was less rainfall, it compelled the people to migrate to elsewhere. The next is the earthquake. So still some archaeologists believe that uh, the earthquake was responsible for the decline of the Harappan civilization. The frequent occurrence of the earthquake have uh, destroyed their cities, the lands, the buildings, their habitats as a result compelling them to shift elsewhere. Next we have is the changes in the course of the river Indus. So again, some historians are of the view that uh, changes in the course of the river Indus led to the decline of the Harappan civilization. So according to them, the river Indus shifted the course away from Mohenjo-daro. So previously, uh, the Indus river was flowing near, this, uh, near the uh, city Mohenjo-daro. So what happened is that afterward, that river Indus, it shifted its course, means it started to shift uh, it started to flow in another direction because because of that the water became scarce in the region and it compelled the harappan people to migrate elsewhere evidence of invasion by aryan so another reason for the decline of the harappan civilization was invasion of the aryans many scholars believe in this theory is because why is because um, as soon as the harappan civilization ended a new race came to the indian subcontinent and that race is the aryan race uh, because of that, the archaeologist was of the view that it was the Aryan people who destroyed the Harappan civilization and rule over the Harappan people, and thus it led to the decline of the Harappan civilization. Moreover, several archaeological research also prove about genocide of the Harappan people, and even uh, unburied skeletal were found at Mohenjo-daro. And when an autopsy was done on these skeletons, it was found that their skeletons were destroyed by sh uh, sharp objects and weapons. And the use of iron during this period was known only to the Aryans and not to the uh, Harappan people. So the last theory put forward by some of the archaeologists are that the Harappan culture came to an end. And with the end of the Harappan culture, even the Harappan civilization ended. So if you remember... Mm, I have discussed about the culture. So the culture means here the objects which are used by the Harappan people. For example, these objects can be beads, can be weights, can be stone blades, or can be baked bricks, or can be anything that that has been used by the Harappan people. Uh, when these things, when these things, uh, that means when this uh, culture or when these objects came to an end, slowly and slowly, even the Harappan civilization came to an end. That was the argument of the archaeologists. And um, this is also evident because by the end of the Harappan civilization, uh, the seals, the scripts, the beads, and the potteries, all of these, uh, all of these disappeared. The use of these things began to disappear, and only the local objects were being found using. So from this, the archaeologists thought that when the Harappan culture came to an end, even the Harappan civilization ended. So that is the end of. Of the lecture for chapter one i hope you've learned something and if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click the notification button so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified and the whole purpose of this channel was to help you guys with your studies so if you have any kind of queries or if you want to contact me you can go to instagram and follow me on historia and contact me there and I will also give you a link below the descriptions. You can go and click the link there so that you can go directly to my account and follow me there.